you guys liked Teardown. It was basically a mix between Minecraft, but with real world physics where everything was destructible. But what if we take the Minecraft style, blend it with Lego and bring those same physics into the picture? That basically is describing the game Brick Rigs, which is kind of like Lego meets Minecraft meets physics, where you can build and create crazy vehicles. So basically, if we start a game, we have multiple maps. We have Canyon, City, Bricksville, Desert, the grid map and racetrack, as well as space. So there's some really cool maps here now i've played bricksville it's basically like lego city but we're going to play on city mode where we have sandbox and zombie survival we're going to jump into sandbox where we have full rain over everything and then we're going to try out zombie survival so basically it gives us kind of like a huge big open space where we can do stuff this game's pretty crazy okay so if we press the o key we go into this vehicle spawning system where we can browse all these community vehicles that people posted so i can check the ones that which i've personally subscribed to and you can check the public library where everyone's posted stuff. So we can go ahead and we could actually spawn a Minecraft world, which says it's a vehicle, which is pretty funny because it's not actually a vehicle. It has to actually spawn as a vehicle, so it will actually put you in a seat, but now we can actually jump in and explore this world. But it's not really Minecraft, it's Lego Minecraft because it's in the exact style as the Lego Minecraft sets. Now you can see this whole thing is actually partially broken because remember there is actually physics on this and everything's kind of glitching about, but we can kind of manually pick up things and you can see we have a Lego person's hands, which is pretty cool. So it's not the same as Minecraft, we're literally playing Lego Minecraft right now. So imagine all those like Lego sets but brought to life. And then also we have also destroyed part of this wall by spawning this. It's kind of broke through the glass, which we weren't supposed to do. But let me show you some vehicles. Now this isn't like teardown where we have tons of tools, but we can actually spawn weapons. Okay, so as you can see, we have an assault rifle, which has its own iron sights too, which is pretty cool. So we can kind of shoot with that. But not only that, we can also put attachments on it. So we can go ahead and drag this hollow onto it. And now we can easily aim. Now this is going to be perfect later when we mess around with zombies. Right now, there's not really much purpose to having the weapon. As you can see, obviously, there is some recoil to it. But you can just pull down your mouse and kind of control it. But it doesn't really destroy anything, okay? Even if we shoot at glass, it basically absorbs everything until you full spray and then you can basically break apart the glass. Now this layer below where it just shows bricks, we can't break unfortunately, but we can break the glass after a while of full spraying. And then also you have the rocket launcher, which goes in the special category, which unfortunately doesn't have any attachments on, but this is what you use for maximum destruction. So remember the destruction we did in the teardown game. Well, the rocket launcher actually does something on this game because on teardown, it doesn't really do much area of effect damage. Let's go ahead and spawn some vehicles. We're going to mess around with some vehicles because we can jump into zombie mode to use the guns later. Minecraft train. Okay, this should be pretty funny. Okay, how do we drive this thing? Okay, this thing does actually turn. So, <laughs> so as you can see, we basically have a Minecraft train. But if we turn too hard and do harsh bends, it will basically completely capsize and all of the bricks of the vehicle will fly off the back and it'll break. So not really the best vehicle, <laughs> not the best start. What about the F-35 jet plane? Okay, so we can fly this thing. I shouldn't have spawned it inside because now the physics is going to give me a lag. Oh, okay, I pressed space and it just exploded. Wait, is my character dead? Oh, okay, I'm under the map. Wait, how did that happen? <laughs> is there a button to respawn? Okay, we've now spawned in the beautiful city of Bricksville. Okay, this looks a little bit better. There's actually more to see. There's more of a landscape and a lot of buildings. The other map was pretty flat and boring. Look, there's even a train in the distance. Far more interesting than it was before, right? There was just one skyscraper. You could barely destroy anything. I think this is actually a bit more of a destructible map. So let's go ahead and spawn that F-35 again. But now we actually have some space. In the bottom left, we have some kind of controls enter as driver search vehicle oh okay it has its own inventory system okay we can kind of turn it but it's not launching i don't know what the controls are okay now it's just rolling by itself this is a little bit awkward can we actually go inside these houses i'm not sure if we can go inside i think everything's just flat the question is are the house is destructible too okay let's try it okay the houses are not destructible at all that's kind of anticlimactic Oh damn, wait, we can play as the Megalodon shark. I love how it's supposed to be a shark, but then it just has random wheels on the front, and then the wheels break off and now we can't move. I don't think there's any water maps that we can actually put the shark in either. That actually looks pretty cool though. I really don't know why I keep spawning planes, because all they do is just explode and they don't work. What about the Tesla Cybertruck? Okay, this is the first... Okay, we're actually in business now. This is actually the first one that works. I know Teslas are fast, but I didn't know the handling was going to be this bad. Okay, okay, it's broke, but it's still driving. 
<laughs> We're literally driving the car with three wheels and half it's crushed. I wonder if Tesla actually has a warranty. I mean, their cars are pretty expensive, but if they break this easy, we're going to need our money back. But if we bought the car with Bitcoin, I don't think they're going to refund it. This really reminds me of GTA San Andreas, where you can drive those go-karts. Okay, right, we spawned. We have a pistol. Wait, okay. So we can't switch our weapons when we're in zombie mode. The question is though, where do the zombies spawn? So I think the more zombies we kill, the more points we get, and then we can cash in for weapons. Does this, is this a lift? Does this work? Up. Oh, nice. Okay. Right, so far so good. Nothing spawned. I don't think there's actually any real danger here. This lift system's so cool. There's like a proper like winch and pulley system that takes you to the top. And everything here, these are actually real Lego bricks too. So whoever's built this game is actually like pretty knowledgeable with Lego and building and stuff. Okay, what happens when we shoot the fuel tank? Okay, there's gas leaks. Okay, that's a little bit irritating. Can we actually... Oh! <gasps> Okay, the whole building collapsed. Hey, at least the ammo cache is still fine. Oh, man. Wait, I actually think I... Okay, I think I actually started the zombie apocalypse. I destroyed the building and then, like, all these zombies leaked out of the building. Maybe that's how you actually start the map. Boom. Desert worms won the round. Okay, apparently I'm a desert worm. There was upgrades before, right? Oh, here we go. Right. We can use a sight. We should buy some first aid kits. I'm not sure if the round's starting yet. Gotta be careful. Okay, how powerful is this versus zombies? Is it a one shot to the head? No, it's not. Okay, it's weaker than the pistol, but we get full auto on it. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna find a better lookout point now. We had like the perfect hiding spot and then I just went ahead and destroyed the building, which sucks. I wonder if there's any vehicles on this map that we can run to. Boom. Damn, this is actually pretty long range. So each wave, there's not really too many zombies. And obviously per wave, I think the waves increase in size and they get a little bit more tanky. Damn, round started already. Doesn't really give you much chance, no? Ammo box. Okay, I think we have a limited amount of ammo. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. You have no chance to swap weapons. They just take you out from behind. Canyon. Okay. So we've got three garages. I'm not sure if these garages open. It's like we're in the Wild West. Look how big this desert is. This reminds me of some of the coolest terrain generation mods on Minecraft. Let's spawn a, an off-road police unit. Okay, this car's beefy. So we can go into kind of like a, a rotation free cam mode, which is pretty cool. But it doesn't really help when we're driving. So this is supposed to be an armored off-road police car. Except it's not very armored because it still breaks like <laughs> fairly easily. Oh, and I've fallen under the map again. That seems like a common occurrence on this game. <laughs> Problem is, is when you fall into the map, you don't actually respawn. You just fall forever, which is kind of unfortunate because you have to restart the game. Oh, snap. Boy, we're in space. Okay, so the space mode, there is like no gravity. So we can kind of, okay, we can float in space and then we land on this. Oh, okay. Now I don't know how to get back down. Okay. Well, we spawned in a cool space station, but I guess I can't go inside now because I'm floating off into the abyss. Okay, we're on a grid map. So this is kind of like a huge map with all these cogs and turbines. Looks pretty cool, right? It's kind of like a flat open space. Boom. We have a flying saucer. Except the aliens didn't tell me how to ride it. Oh, snap. Okay, right. We have another shark car. Except this car's a little bit better because the wheels seem to work. It's also pretty interesting because when we move, the fins actually flail around. Wait, let's do some power slides. Look how cool that is. Oh, okay. The wheels have come off again. I think this is how Megalodons went extinct. But look at that thing, it's still flopping up and down. It's like beached whales when they like turn up at like a beach, but they're still alive. Oh, look at this bad boy. Oh, snap. Okay, so it has a tank blast. It slides on the floor. The horsepower's not very good. Okay, this looks like the most armored thing so far, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have some hope this thing doesn't get destroyed. Oh, snap. The blast actually goes super fast and super far. Boom. Wait, is this a ramp? Oh, snap. Wait, let's see how fast we can go. Oof. No, no, we're going into the turbine. Wait, is it going to drop? This thing's going to cut it. Oh, my God. It <laughs> Our car just got cut into pieces. Okay, so the turbine doesn't hurt me. Okay, I guess I'm stuck here, huh? I beat it show, make a room, shake it, shake it, and I beat it. Everybody come on, we beat the shakers with a crazy style Showing everybody how to enjoy a crazy wild One time rocking to the sound, chilling women everywhere I beat a big down, swing at a hospital, super chicken Baby, baby, come on, you better rockin' with me I beat a hot shot, play it from nowhere to my